joining YouTube. Joining YouTube. I hope you guys heard that. That I called you a jack wagon? Yep. I'll call it to you again. Annoying. Do I see the visa in all my angelic ways? Of course not. <laughs> I'll cut you off. Just turn my video on. That'll, oh, wow. that'll stop the nonsense. <laughs> Okay, it is Monday morning officially. Robert is not off today because it is spring break and he is getting his bootay kicked. Hardcore. Yep. He is pushing himself to all kinds of limits. Yep. How was yesterday? Yesterday was tiring. Yeah. I woke up with oh, sure. cramped hands and. Mm -hmm. uh, he bowls dough all day. And so that requires tremendous hand strength. Make sure you're getting enough salt. Yeah. Are you getting actual muscle cramps or are they just exhaustion cramps? I, I, I think it's just exhaustion cramps because okay. I mean, they weren't cramped up like they were Charlie Horse and like okay, you're okay. dehydrated. Okay, okay. But they were just stiff and achy to move. Oh, I yeah. And so, yeah. And today I is. I have to wake up and stretch my hands. And you're taking extra coffee today so that you can enjoy an actual bulletproof coffee. And he's even taking our press with him. She will be bringing home. No cycle. Or we'll be going to get it tonight. That's what will happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He won't remember you anymore. Know, and then the murdering will ensue. That seems like a bad idea. Let's not play that way. I'll ask him to help you remember. She's a little panicky about that. I am a little problem. panicky, to be honest. I am. I am. I don't want him to forget it. It's our coffee maker, and I love it. So, yeah. I'm going to do a commercial. Um, Aero Press is the brand, and it's amazing, especially if you have a new wave, because it, with a new wave, you can measure your coffee, your water temperature to precisely 170 degrees. 25. 175 degrees. I and... I'd like to be a little more specific. I'd like to get it to 173, but... I like 175. It's lovely. It tastes delicious. It doesn't taste like anything nasty. Oh, yeah. But perfectly, it should be 173. It doesn't taste like it's burnt. It's it doesn't taste like it has those... The T word in it. What is it? Uh, tannin. Tannin. It has no tannin in it. It's delicious. Yep. AeroPress is the way to go. Yes. We are coffee snobs. Oh, yes. So, we only use Kerrygold Butter, we only use MCT oil, we only use 175 degree one, uh, uh, water, and single source, medium roast, Colombian coffee. Well, I wish I could find a, meat, uh, a single source light roast, but... I've shown you the light roast and you didn't like it. It wasn't Colombian though. Yeah, it wasn't Colombian, it was a single source like most. It was. No, it was a light blend, honey. Your words. Your words mean nothing to me. But anyway, yes, I'm a coffee snob. Yes. But, you know, neither one of us drank coffee except for with all the crap in it because of the, you know, really bitter taste that it had. Well, we learned that it's actually the way that you make it that makes it not bitter, not the A combination additions. of how it's prepared and... What kind of coffee you got? A lot of coffees are slightly stale or moldy, and so they make blends out of them. So anytime you read a bag that says, you know, Honduran blend, or Colombian blend, or, you know, blends from three different countries or whatever, they're blending it to help cover up the bad beans. Gross. No. So that's it. And so, yeah, most people have never actually had really fresh, delicious coffee. They just don't even know. And it's not Starbucks. That's not, that's not no, where that's you find not your fresh or delicious. No. <laughs> that's why they add so much syrup, whipped yeah. topping and stuff to it. Just because the coffee itself is not high quality. But anyway, there I go on another yeah, rant. We digress. That was a coffee rant from us. So today is just Monday, so it should be a pretty normal day. A bit busy for you, but my workout should be pretty basic. I did do, I didn't do all 100 squats yesterday, but I did do a few, and I definitely did push-ups yesterday. 
I got up to 10, but they weren't as good, and uh, they weren't good military push-ups. So then I decided to work on a plank in that angle, 90 yep. degree angle in my arms, and I planked there for about 15 seconds until I almost face planted. It was just scary. You know you can intensify your push-ups by elevating your feet. I did. Stepper. I did notice that actually. Yeah. I did. My, I put my feet up on the couch. Yep. And high. It yep. Was oh yeah. yeah. I just want. I want nice arms, you know. And and I'm starting to understand that that is not something that's just going to come easily. That I am really and truly going to have to kick my own butt in order to make that happen. Yep. And no, I don't want like bodybuilder arms. <laughs> <laughs> she I don't, totally not yeah, I'm not willing to put in that much effort every single day. Yeah, see, you, like you gave me crap when I told you I wasn't putting in enough effort to get that ball. I'm not willing to put that in. You only weight lift, what, twice a week? Uh, yeah. When you lift crap out of the truck? Uh, no. Or do you actually weight lift at home much? I weight lift at home. But I probably do it once every two weeks. No, we don't use heavy weights, so does that have an effect on whether or not you get to bulk up or just tone up? Heavy well, weights is better or not? I can't remember. Uh, lightweight, high rep will increase mass, and heavy weight with low rep will increase strength. Increase? Increase strength. And I use strength training. I'm not really interested in bulk training. I don't eat enough. I don't cram enough extra protein in my diet to bulk up. No. And I don't really have an extra source of testosterone to bulk up. No. So, yeah. I, I you know, I just really try to go for more of an army uh, style sculpting and lean and mean. You're, you want strength and endurance. I know. I kind of want to pull out your, um, your DVD and yep. see if it's an actual workout. It is a workout, isn't it? Yes, it's a stretch uh, workout together. It's it's your basic boot camp workout. I want to check it out. So, yeah. I was super lazy yesterday. Literally so lazy yesterday. Um, I didn't do a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Come on. There you go. Every once in a while, take one for yourself. Oh, please. Like, I don't do it every weekend. Shh. You don't have to tell me <laughs> that. I mean, let's be honest. That's just something okay. that happens. Quite I, I, I do it at least once a week. It's a little disappointing to not, you know, well, get anything done, but we hung out with family on Saturday, and so Sunday, when I was at home, I don't know, I just, I was not motivated to get up and around. And instead of doing productive things yesterday, we just jumped on the motorcycle and rode around. We did. We took a little uh, bike ride. It was a little chilly, but... Yeah, it was we, a little we, chilly. We pushed through. <laughs> we pushed I through. had one of those uh, brain freeze headaches when I got home. Yeah. Because of the constant wind yeah. lowering the temperature of your head. I was super glad that I had at least this on so I could put the head, put the hood up. Mm. It was chilly, though. It was fun. Okay. We're at work. Peace out. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your Monday. Later.